Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Welk, the Raps Film Reporter. We are so happy to have you here for our 2020-2021 Awards in an International Screening Series with a virtual screening and Q&A of Better Days, which is Hong Kong's submission into the Oscar race. We anticipate many more titles and conversations throughout this year's extended season, so please be on the lookout for those. And to be sure you are invited to all future events, please check out our membership service, Rap Pro. Uh, we will be kicking off today's event with the Better Days trailer, and then we'll go right into the conversation with director Derek Sang. We will conclude the event with an audience Q&A, and you can post your questions in the live chat beside the screen. Uh, now, before we introduce our guest, here is the trailer for Better Days.但是因为他心里害怕And I'm pleased to welcome the director of Better Days, uh, Derek Sang. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, thank you, Brian. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, very glad to be here. Um, hope everybody enjoyed our film. Well, thank you. I, I certainly did. It, it, the, I had not seen that trailer before seeing the film. So it just had a lot of emotions packed in, into that and really reflects all the different layers that are going on in that movie. Um, and I, I think what I didn't realize right from the get-go and what maybe Amer many American audiences might not know is that this is uh, a film about bullying and it's about mm -hmm. based on a story. So I wanted to start with the question, you know, just how big of a story was this in, in Hong Kong and, um, and what led you to turn this, this story into a movie? Well, I mean... Um, I've always wanted to make a film about bullying since, I mean, I, I think, I think ever since we had, um, smartphones, uh, because uh, I mean, bullying has been around for, I mean, like across different cultures, across different uh, countries and across like you know, different times, but it's just really with the prevalence of smartphones that we actually do see a lot of these videos of, of bullying that it's more available for us to see. I mean, with like with a lot of social media platforms, you, there are actually a lot more videos that be, that, that that service of of uh, kids bullying each other. So it was really a, around that time when we 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 have um, smartphones going around that that I really was really 
um, interested in exploring uh, the topic of bullying and why people bully, how because it's just a really a big shock to me when I when I first started seeing all these videos surfacing of kids bullying each other. Just how could you know someone be so with no sympathy, no empathy that they're able to do that to someone. So that's around the time when, when I really wanted to start talking about why people bully each other. So this idea has been floating around for a lot for a long time for me. It's just that um, uh, when this when, when we came upon this 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 the novel that really gave me an angle just to, to explore um, um, on a film about bullying. Oh, it's a it's a novel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a it's a it's a, it's a web novel. A, a what novel? A web novel. It's it's published on online instead oh. of being uh, a a book that is, instead of being uh, published in, uh, in in books. Oh, okay. I'm I'm, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I mean, no, and, uh, do you have any other personal connection to? Uh, this material, uh, you know, do you have any children of your own uh, who are trying to pass some of these exams, or you know, do you have any old, uh, you know, personal history that, um, you know, dealing with bullies, dealing, you know, um, that that specifically drew you to this? Mm -hmm. Actually, no, because uh, I I've been very fortunate. Uh, when I was growing up, I never really witnessed any any. Uh, very serious bully. I mean, there's always going to be like, you know, taunting and, and uh, stuff going around, but I never really witnessed anything serious when I was growing up. So that's why when I, when I first came upon like those videos, um, you know, when, when, you know, all these social media platforms were, 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 you know, being more matured, I was really shocked. I was, I was, I was, I was really shocked as to there's actually bullying that was that serious that was going around the world. So that's why I really wanted to to make a film about bullying because I really wanted to understand and explore how some kids can 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 do that to each other. Were there any specific? I mean, there's some really intense, you know, images here. Some real mm -hmm. violence, you know, perpetuated by by these these kids, really. And mm -hmm. um, you know, was there anything that you kind of based it on in particular? Any any real stories out there that that you you saw that you know made it into the into the screenplay or or examples that um, that resonated with you? Uh, I can't really pinpoint one specifically. I mean, like it's 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 an obligation of a lot of different uh, stories that we gathered uh, either online or in person. Because when we were when we decided to, to do this 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 project, we uh, we met with a lot of kids um, or people who, who have been bullied when they were in, in high school and who actually went through all these uh, this rigorous gall call, this this uh, examination in China. Um, uh, we did a lot of interviews. We tried to understand from you know people who are bullied, people who bullied other people. So we try to really tackle the issues from a lot of different perspectives to get like a, a good good angle on 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 this issue. We really wanted to explore and see, try, try to understand from all the different angles that we could. So um, and, and and for this film, because we want we really want it to be as realistic as possible. We actually watched, we, we researched, and we got a lot of these um, real um, bullying videos that you can find online. And it was just painful to watch, but it's, it's, it's something that I felt that we, I really wanted to, to, to uh, depict as realistically as possible. So I actually watched a lot of these videos and actually made uh, my actress, uh, Zhou Dongyu, I sent a lot of these videos to her just to let her get, have a good sense of you know how how serious the, the, these 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 bullying um, episode can go, uh, so that she can get a really good sense of you know what I want to achieve, particularly in that scene where she gets her hair cut uh, and and her dress torn off. So she was she was basically she got to a point where she's like, can you just stop sending me these videos? Cause it's just like really brutal. So yeah. So it's, it's, it's just painful, brutal to watch, but it's something that I felt that I needed to, 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 to watch. Wow. I mean, it, it shows yeah. on screen. You know, it, it looks like she went through a lot in the making of this as well, had to mm -hmm. kind of endure 
uh, a lot. You know, what was, first of all, how did you find this actress, you know, and um, w w what was her experience like um, yeah, working on this one? Uh, I mean, it was pretty painful shoot for her because, you know, as you've seen, if you've watched the film, I mean, like from, you know, the first scene to till the very end, she's, Either she's being beaten on, she's being bullied, she's being pushed around, and then like her emotion is just always, you know, pushed to the, to the, to the, to to, to over the top. So it's, it it was. She told me, or and she she even mentioned in a lot of her interviews that it's it's been the hardest shoot she've ever uh, done in her in her whole career. I mean, but um, I mean, uh, Dong Yu, it's it's a pretty established uh, actress in China. So it's it's our second time uh, uh, working together. Our first, our previous film being Soulmate, okay. uh, which which was our first first collaboration. So this is our second collaboration. So it's it's a very different um, working method that we have this time because because with the first film with Soulmate, um, we we wrote the script around her. We really wanted her to be herself. Um, we wanted to, you know, to showcase her own personality in that film, but with this film, it's actually Chen Nian, this character. It's, it's like it's it's completely different from who she is as a person. So mm -hmm. she had she had she had to she she had to really find take her time to really uh, blend into the character. So at the beginning, it was kind of hard for her because if, if you know her personally, she is someone that would not take you know. She would not take shit from people. She, if someone, if someone challenges her, if someone bullies her, she would like fight back right away. So mm -hmm. at the beginning, she it took her a while. It was kind of difficult for her to to to, to understand why Chen and this character she has to endure all these bullying. Um, she has to take take this all in and not fight back. So it was it was something that was difficult for her to understand. But then I was I, I we, we were just constantly trying to you know remind her of you know how Chen Ni and this character she has to uh, bear all this responsibility of her 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 herself and you know with her family her future she just has to you know swallow all these all these um, um, uh, um, bullying swallow all these you know things that she's going through just so that she can actually finish her, you know, go through with her study, go through with her exams so that she can have a better, better future. So it, it took her a while to understand. And then, I mean, every day on, uh, uh, when we were on set, when we we're shooting, it was just, you know, constant, you know, beating, <laughs> constant abuses. So she, 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 it was a really tough shoot for her. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Some, and it, de it definitely shows, you know, sometimes, yeah, this is a, a tough sit, but what I really liked about this movie is that yeah, there's a lot of tragedy early on, but it really blossoms into this unexpected, touching romance in a lot of ways. And then as we get near the end, you get a really layered um, police kind of procedural, a lot of uh, you know, torn, conflicted emotions of you know who we want. You know, how, how do we want this to shake out? How do we want them to? To react, do we want them to tell the truth? Do we want them to to get out of it? And you know, uh, so there's a lot a lot going on. How, how did you, as a director, really juggle all these all these themes, all these different tones? Well, I mean, I I I didn't really. Um, I tried not to think too much about the shifting uh, narratives. I mean, as you said, like it started out as like a really realistic. Um, you know, the high school drama about this girl being bullied, and then eventually it goes into like kind of a romance, and then eventually into kind of like a crime uh, 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 drama. But I tried to maintain this this you know uh, coherent style throughout. I try not to, to switches through a uh, 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 with, with, with stylistically. I I really just wanted to keep it as realistic as possible, so that you know the character stayed. I mean, their audience stay with with the characters. Um, that the audience go through what you know. Try to uh, try to make the audience feel as much as possible what Chen Nian is going through, what uh, what Chen Nian and Xiaobei is going through. So I just wanted to present you know the character and this narrative as as realistically as possible. 
Okay. And I think the only I think the only stylistic choice that I made was we I did a lot of re really really extreme close up of the characters because I really wanted to 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 showcase um, the 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 actors acting and for me it's I mean because this is a, a a film about you know youth and I, I I always wanted I always felt like you know you know with 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 youth um, you know it's it's as I wanted to see them as close as possible, so that you know, all you know, fight very minute uh, expressions on their face, that you know, I can present it very clearly, very um, 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 enlarge that for the audience on screen. I mean, yeah, it's a very character-driven story, and I, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask, you know, about some of those stylistic choices. Are mm -hmm. there are there any um, filmmakers or other films that that really inspired the, the look and feel of this one? Um, I, I would say a lot of the European Indian, uh, uh, European um, independent films are a big influence for me on this film. Um, uh, particularly like the, um, the Belgian directors, the Dardani brothers mm -hmm. with how they with, with with all the handheld, all the real realistically um, portrayal of character driven um, style of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, um, yeah, like I, I think that's what we wanted to achieve most in in terms of stylistically. Just wanted to be a, as realistic as as raw as possible with the film, so that people can feel. Um, what Tanya is going through and the, the raw energy of, 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 you know, their youthfulness and the viciousness of the, of, of the bully. So that's what we want to do. Like, we just want it to be, we just want the, the camera and the actors to be as organic as possible. I'm wondering, you know, the, the difference between, um, like girls bullying versus boys, you know, I think, um, but you know, I wonder, you know, if you have a thought on on the differences there, because I feel like so many girls bullying, it's, it's so psychological. It's so yes, um, it's, yeah. What, what do what do you think about that? Yeah, it, it, when we were doing research for the film, it, it's actually quite uh, it's quite an eye opener for me because I we we with the the conclusion that we came up with with is. Um, uh, female bullying is actually a lot more vicious than than male bullying because I mean with 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 with, with guys I mean it's just a lot of beating, um, it's just you know straight up beatings and and you know it's all male dominance you know just it's just like a lot of um, beating around but with female with a lot of the girls that we talk to. It's it's it's. I mean, it's bullying on a lot of different levels. It's it's mental. It's psychological. Um, um, there's a lot of mind games going on. There's a lot of um, and then there's also also the vicious, you know, physical attack that can happen. And and I mean, it's just it's just it's just really vicious. Um, I mean, on every different level. I mean, because because all the stories that we heard while we we're doing research was just, it was just brutal. I mean, like they they could they do a lot of different mind games. They would you know they, they would befriend you, you know, that, and and then they would you know shame you in front of everybody. Whereas then like the guys is just like they don't like you. They they pull you into the into the toilet into the washroom and then you just do like a good old beating. So it's a lot more simple in in, in terms of in terms of um, the guys. Uh, bullying, but with the with, with female, it's just it seems like it's, it's they they do it on a lot of different levels. It's just a lot more scarier. Yeah. yeah. How much? Uh, how closely did you adhere to the to the novel, um, or you know how many, or did you take a lot of liberties there, or it doesn't have the same sort of structure? Mm -hmm. uh, it it's it we we took a lot of liberties with the uh, with the novel, and I mean, and one of the biggest uh, thing that we um, and large within the film, it's it's the whole examination, the whole, whole gal call, because um, as you've seen in the film, the whole the whole gal call, it's like basically the backbone, like of the timeline of the film, and we and it's something that I also wanted to explore because uh, the gal call, the examination, is a big thing for you know 
youth in China. Um, it's it's something that is like kind of like a make or break for a lot of different students um, in their student life. So, and it's something that I wanted to explore in the film and talk more in depth uh, in the film. So it's something that um, resonate with a lot of the audiences in China when they watch the film is because everybody went through that rigorous that that you know really high pressure call call uh, examination process and it's something that people a lot of people talked about after they watched the film it's like they felt that the film really realistically portrayed how you know a lot of these students a lot of these kids what what they went through during the whole examination period yeah the 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 move that it is an interesting layer of the movie that you feel these societal pressures, these right. these pressures that are literally all around you in the in that corridor of the uh, or the the campus where you have these these big signs that tell you you know what to do. So you feel these pressures from students and from you know, but also from just everywhere around you. Okay. You know, I, I think you know American audiences will certainly recognize that you know we have social pressures like that you have parents but yeah talk about how specifically difficult it is in china when you're competing against that many people on you know one day and it can decide your entire future you know how mm -hmm. how intense is that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean that's that's I mean that's the main difference I mean I mean cuz I, I I grew up in Canada I I I mean when I look back on my education it was you know it was pretty chilled for me I think <laughs> like uh, we we had like a provincial exam which is you know one, a big examination but I never felt like it was going to make a break for me in my you know in my for my life you know uh so I took it pretty you know pretty um easily um it was never like really high you know, really pressured, really, um, uh, yeah, it was, it was not like a really stressful, um, period for me, but, um, when I, when I, when we decided to do the film, when we started doing research, talked to a lot of people, it just, it was really eye opener for me, like how big Gao call this, uh, examination is in China. It's for, because especially for, for kids that are from a more, you know, um, lower income background, a poor background. Um, the examination is really something that can really change drastic, like their life drastically. If they get into a good university, um, you know, they can go on a very good career path, you know. Uh, so it's really life changing. It could, it can be a really big life changing event for them. So that's something that was, you know, um, a real, real eye open for me. So that, that's something that I really wanted to, 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 to have in the film as well. Um, and I mean, like, there's, um, you know, as, when we're doing research, there's one, this, this one comment online that I saw that really, you know, it, it, it was big. It, it really had an effect on me. So I really, I, I, I kept it in the film because I saw a, a, not, not just one, but like a lot of kids said that, you know, even though um, our society is not fair, it's not just, but Gal call this examination is actually a just platform for all of us to compete in mm -hmm. so that's just something that you know even though gaokao is such a um you know stressful pressure uh event in these kids life but they do feel like that this is actually a fair you know a, a, a fair a level platform where they can really compete with you know kids that are from a very you know well-off background they have a lot of resources but these kids with you know, no resources from from poor background. They felt like, oh no, this this I'll call this examination is something that it's 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 a level, it's it's a it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a level ground for us to compete in. So that's something that was that was you know, um, quite had a really really big uh, effect on me. So I tried to kept it in the film. That's interesting. That uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I because mean, I think you know, I think even with standardized testing in 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 America and North America, it, it's just people know it's not necessarily an even playing field, even though yeah, yeah. you know it's supposed to be. Um, it, you know, it, what has been the um, reaction to this film? You know, a, a abroad to in in China and Hong Kong. Um, you know, have have people seen it yet? Mm. Or yeah, and yeah. 
Uh, I mean, um, I'm very, you know, I'm very uh, um, touched and very blessed that, you know, this film has been doing, you know, it's traveled really well across different, like across different cultures, different countries. I mean, like I said, I mean, because I think this the issue of bullying, um, it's it's really prevalent in you know a lot of different cultures, different countries, different times. I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's just part of human nature. It's always been in us. I mean, as long as we human beings are going to be here, there's going to be bullying. I mean, it's just not just bullying in school. There's bullying in, you know, in, in workplace. Yeah, there's bullying in, you know, it, when we're doing research, you know, I, I even heard there's there's actually uh, bullying in, you know, in uh, elders' home. So it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just in in human nature. So I mean, I'm very happy that. The film really traveled well. I mean, a lot of different people from different festivals. They watched the film. They loved it, and they were they would share with us what they went through uh, when they when they were in high school. You know, they 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 went through some you know pretty um, sad you know bullying episodes. So it was. It's just I'm just really happy that the film created you know. Uh, an avenue for a lot of people to 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 talk about something that they probably wouldn't talk about, share wouldn't share with people something from their past that they probably, it's probably a bit painful to talk about. But the film really opened up this avenue for a lot of people to talk about this issue. Yeah, it's a, a universal story for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, uh, what do you hope that other international audiences you know take away from this? And I mean, are there are there any you know words of wisdom you would have for kids who might be going through this right now, any resources they can look to? Unfortunately, I don't like I, I, we, when we started out, we want really wanted to have an answer for, 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 for the audience as to, you know, why people bully, but, you know, after, um, after talking to a lot of people, after our research and after, you know, during our writing, it it really dawned on us that that's something that you know it's 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 not something that we can answer with the film. I mean, I mean, with the film, we want to raise the question, we want to raise the awareness, but I wouldn't want to say that you know we have an answer for that. There's no you know um, slogan. There's no you know easy way to say this. We just want to raise the awareness so that you know let people know that there are other people going through, uh, you know, these things. So you're not alone. If you're going through, um, you know, bullying, if there's someone doing that to you, we just want you to know that you're not alone. There's been a lot of people that, you know, are going through that, been through that. And we hope that you will see the light of it. I mean, I mean, a lot of people have been through it and, you know, we, we, we get out of it. And then it's just something that, yeah, we just want to have like that encouragement to people, but I wouldn't say that we have, you know, so-called word of wisdom or an answer to it. I mean, because because like I said, I mean, it's just human nature. It's it's something that it's more philosophical, and I don't think a film can actually answer that. Mm. Okay, I want to backtrack a little bit. You know, let's talk about the the chemistry between the two young leads, and mm -hmm. you know, how you kind of uh, coax that out of them. It's it's a you know an interesting you know, Romeo and Juliet sort of story mm -hmm. or, you know, two people from very different backgrounds. Um, but, you know, they find a common ground and, and a, a dependence on one another. So, you know, talk about that, that relationship. Well, I mean, I'm very, you know, I've always said that I'm very fortunate as a director to have these two actors. I mean, Jackson, um, the, the male lead, he's act is, is actually his debut. Uh, film. It's his wow. first. Um, yeah, it's his first film as as an actor, in a feature. Um, but I mean, he's he he was what he was seventeen when we shot the film. Okay. So it's it's he was he, it's 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 his first feature. So it's everything is new to him. But um, he was he really he 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 really uh, liked the story a lot. I mean, he it really touched him a lot because um, I think that's something that it's that that is his own ex experience as well. Cause um, you know, I think he, he is someone that has, you know, a big heart, 
he has a lot of empathy. So he really felt for um, the character Chen Yan and Xiao Bei. So it, it was it was really easy to 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 explain to him who Xiao Bei is and how you know what kind of a person that uh, Xiao Bei is. So there was no difficulty in there at all. I mean, it was it was really easy to explain to him who this person is, and even even though you know he might look like a you know like a sort of like a delinquent a, a, a gangster uh, on the outside. But on the inside, he's actually someone that is really warm, someone that has a big heart, um, someone who's who has a lot of empathy, um, and it's something that I think he, it really connect with him. So you know, when he, even though he's very green as an actor, but I mean, when we were shooting the really you know heavy scenes, the the, the important scenes, his emotion is always there. It was it was really easy to get it out of him, and it was it was really a big joy working with him and it's, i was just really glad that we, we we have him as an as, as the male lead for a film yeah he's phenomenal and, then it goes through a lot also yeah mm -hmm. and i mean with with don you like i said it's it's our second film working together and it's 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 um because it's because with our with our first film uh soulmate we 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 have achieved a lot with our first film, but you know, our second time working together, we have a lot of um, uh, pressure as well because it's our second time working together. And I told her pretty, you know, straightforward that um, I want, I want to have, I want to let the audience see a different side of you, and and I want to explore something that you know, um, uh, people haven't haven't have seen of you as an actress. So that's something that we were we had an agreement upfront that i wanted to make sure that you know it's it's a new so don't you that i'm going to present to to the audience this time with this film so i really pushed her really hard on set um there were times when you know like you know actually seeing that you know she was being you know attacked with the volleyball and everything i was actually the one behind the camera throwing the volleyball at her so i w it was i was just you know every a lot of the scenes i was just really pushing her very hard and there were times where she was near to the point of breaking down so um but you know she, she but she was very strong she really wanted to 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 do right to the character and to the films and she she you know she stayed strong for the whole film uh but i i i i really um do appreciate because there are a lot of times when she was you know really near point of breaking down but she she really you know, she bit through. She she really wanted to do it well. Hmm. Okay. Um, are you I mean, something else with characters? characters. Sorry, what? sorry. You were saying? No, go go ahead. What were you saying? No, I mean like uh, the 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 the. For me, one of the reasons why the story speaks to me uh, so much is because of the. Bonding of these two, these two characters. I mean, like you know, even though it might look like a romance on the outside, like you know, um, but to me, it's actually much more than just romance. Much more than just love. It's more like to me, it's like these two characters they actually become one. You know, not in not not romantically, but you know, because they have they have this belief they have this mission to actually you know you know to get out of this situation to get out of this 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 muddy waters that they actually do become one and you know it doesn't matter if i'm i have to sacrifice it doesn't, doesn't matter if you sacrifice as long as one of us can get out of this situation unless as long as one of us can get out and and that's that's fine. I mean, because so to me, it's it's actually a lot bigger than just romance. A lot bigger than just love. Mm. Okay, uh, I was going to ask. You know, are you working on anything else with this actress, or are, are you hoping that you can work together again? Or um, yeah, what do you have coming up next? Yeah, we we talked about some projects that we can work on but nothing is actually in the writing yet so there's actually a lot going on right now so i'm developing a lot of different projects at the moment but nothing is is matured enough that i can say it's going to be my next film okay yeah um, yeah it's a i mean a, a really yeah I, I even want to ask about the 
um, the little kind of post credit scene, we have a, a little thing at the beginning of, that's in, of, of an English class. And, mm -hmm. and then it comes back at the end with some uh, different characters. Could you we'll, we'll talk about that? What, what was the, um, the significance mm -hmm. behind that little? Well, um, that yeah. Um, uh, originally our film starts with just, you know, like um, um, a linear um, um, beginning, just with, you know, the, 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 the um, kids in, running around the tracks. That was original. Originally that was the, 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 the beginning of the film. But while we were editing, there are, um, we felt like we wanted something at the beginning to really grab the audience to, 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 to give it more of, um, of, um, of a, of, um, what's the word for it? Um, we really wanted something at the beginning that can, you know, you know, give the, f the film a sense of the, uh, thematically, we can have something at the, at the beginning. Okay. So this, this scene of, 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 um, this English class was actually just one scene at the, at the, at the end, but we, 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 we edited, uh, so that we, we kind of chopped it into two, 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 two bits so that, you know, we can get that, that sense of loss, that sense of, um, um, looking back, um, of Tania and actually going, you know, while she's saying that, you know, um, um, this used to be our playground, this is our playground, this was our playground. It kind of, when she's saying that, you kind of see her reminiscing, kind of thinking back on what she went through as a student. And then we, we, we get into, um, the whole, you know, the whole story of what she went through. So we tried that and, it, and then, and then, you know, and then at the end of the film, we go back into it. It felt like the scene is much more, it works a lot. You know, a lot, there's a lot more punch, a lot more emotion when we put that in front. So that's how we, you know, how it ended up as it is right now. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think it, we have some time for some audience questions. Yeah. Uh, okay. we'll, we'll pull up on the bottom of the screen. Um, from Elena Chang, Derek, do you have a personal experience of bullying or being bullied? Um, and yeah, I think you, you addressed that a little earlier, but yeah, I mean, I think it's something yeah. that all of us kind of go through. But I, yeah, wonderful. I mean, like I, 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 I got bullied, like, but it's, it's, it's like it's nothing compared to what what the characters went through um, in the story. It was just like some taunting, you know, because I, um, I, I immigrated to Canada when I was eleven. So English was the second language for me. So, um, um, you know, when we, when I first started high school, I was still in what we called ESL class, which is like English, the second language class that we have to learn. I mean, so at the beginning of high school, there's, there was some, you know, some taunting that, you know, you know, there's always that, you know, fresh off the boat, you know, go back to your country kind of taunting that, that, that racist comment that, that, that we got um so it's but but it's really like you know when i look back on it you know i i never felt like it was it affected me that much i mean um it actually made me um even study even harder so that you know i don't get that that mocking anymore so it really i i i felt it was a blessing in disguise when i got those you know those kind of taunting or mocking so um yeah i I never, but I never uh, got into any, you know, I was never bullied seriously and I never witnessed anything serious when I was in high school. So that was something that, you know, uh, you know, it was fortunate. Yeah. I think what's interesting is, uh, oh, then we have another question shortly, but, uh, you know, I think what's interesting is we, we don't always pay attention to it or observe it. Um, you know, if it hasn't happened to us, but it, it's happening all around us. And I think early on, you know, when when the the girl at the very beginning has committed suicide, you know, she was trying to reach out, trying to find a friend, and she kind of turned a blind eye. And then suddenly, her bullies become protagonist bullies, and it's it's a very um, mm -hmm. powerful thing that it's like these we these these things happen around us and. You know, even if we don't notice it, but 
Yeah, and that's that's. I'm I'm happy that you 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 raised that issue. I mean, that's something that we want to talk about in the film as well. I mean, being silent when there's bullying going go on, it's it's a form of bullying as well. That's something that we, I felt really strongly, because um, because I think you know people being silent, it's it's in a way helping the bulliers too. Yeah. Uh, the next question from your audience, did you have any censorship problems with this in, in China? Uh, yeah, of course we did. Um, I mean, you know, that's something that all Chinese filmmakers have to go through because we do have a censorship system in China. So, I mean, bullying, um, being, you know, uh, about youth, uh, about high school, it's already a pretty sensitive issue. So, you know, they... We 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 have we have to go through the censorship and we have you know they were they were you know pretty um, they were you know because because it's it's an issue that they 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 felt like they want to talk about um, and it's something that they felt like you know we 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 have to issue but it's something that it's kind of sensitive as well so we have to work with the censorship a lot uh, for the film but I mean in the end I felt like you know people I was I, I was actually pretty pretty um, um, thankful that, that, you know, everybody felt like this is a film that should be released, that should be uh, just in an issue that everybody should address. So there's a lot of people that helped out with, with, uh, with the film. So, you know, I'm actually pretty thankful for that. Okay. And looks like we have time for one last question. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what was the most rewarding part of working on this project for you? <laughs> Oh, oh, I mean, that's that's actually a really hard question to answer because it's it's there's a lot of there's you know rewards for me in on a lot of different levels. Um, I would I would say actually you know because um, uh, after we 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 when we were done with the film when we were doing promotion for the film we created a website um, for the film that was in a for in. We we designed the website in the form of a um, exam paper, uh, and and the topic is actually you know what you would say to yourself in twenty years, like the the exam the essay topic in the film, yeah. and we actually really wanted to encourage dialogue with the audiences and you know have them share with us what they went through um, um, as a student when they were in high school, and it was. It was very touching because a lot of um, audiences shared with us their story when they were growing up, what they went through when they were being bullied. So, I mean, one of the most rewarding things, I uh, think, for me with this project is is we actually really got um, um, a dialogue going with a lot of the audiences. I mean, it, it got a lot of people talking, a lot of people shared with us, um, and not just with us. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people after they watch the film, they share with their friends what they went through. Um, we got a lot of, you know, really good feedback, really good um, sharing online uh, after the film was released. So, I mean, that was one thing that I was really, really, really um, happy and really, I think it's something that I was very happy about because it got people talking and sharing. Okay. And, you know, ho hopefully, uh, Best of luck with. I mean, I'm sure those. Are, it was very powerful to read all of those responses and, and everything. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's so many stories out there. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for sharing with it all. Thank you, our, thank you, Brian. And best of luck with with the Oscar race and the rest of the awards season. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, thank you, everyone. And, and thank you to everyone for joining us today. It was great to have you all um, be sure to take advantage of our free trial of rap pro and be first to know about upcoming rap screenings and events just like this one. And you can also check back on our screenings page, uh, screenings.therap.com uh, as well. Uh, and thank you. Thank you so much.